All right, everyone, come on in. Come on in. I have a very cool a robot for you today. But as always, before we get rolling, do me a favor. Get comfy. Get energized. Maybe it's going to take a caffeine, a coffee, or tea, or chocolate bar. Or you're just chilling out from a stressful work day and you're just unwinding with a little bit of vodka and some OJ or something like that. Whatever it is. Kick back, relax, and if you're lurking about and you still haven't subscribed, do that, please, because that's very important. And uh, with that out of the way, we're going to look at a very cool robot by Alps that they reproduce for some reason. Of all the toys to reproduce, I guess this was easy because it's monotone, no real lithography, and um, that's that. And I think they, somebody, if I'm not mistaken, there were like some colored versions of this toy, weren't there? Weren't there, were, were there like the painted ones? I gotta see, was it this particular toy? I think it was this one that had the painted versions that people paid some big bucks for. I think they were at a toy fair or something. But anyway, we have uh, the the Mr. Robot, the mechanical brain. He is uh, kind of, you know, definitely has some quirks to him because I actually had a like, I've never owned this one before, believe it or not. I think I had one loose one that wasn't mine. And uh, I never really, like, played with it or messed with it. So I kind of didn't realize what a pain in the ass it is to figure this guy out. But anyway, here's the cover of the box. Kind of cool. Uh, very plain. You know, got like a kind of a silhouette of a city scape back there. And he's, you know, doesn't have that zoomer effect for sure. But a nice 50s box. Watch lights go on and off while he walks, operates on flashlight batteries. Make him walk by... Winding up the spring mechanism. So he's both battery operated and wind up, which is kind of unusual. You don't see too many toys like that. And he also has multiple patents. Here's a close-up of the Alps. The Alps Mountains was the logo for Alps of Japan. And here's his color. I have to find, uh, if I find the, the sale of the colored versions of these, I'll link it. But anywhere, he has, anywhere, <laughs> anyway, he has a lever on the back of the head that operates the light. So you have to, Install, and I, I, that's the thing, I, I didn't, and this, by the way, is a very, very clean, super clean example. Look at this little bit of paper lifting up there. Oh, 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 oh. Um, see, I should have just not rushed it over there and just, you know, put a little bit of adhesive on that. Anyway, that's, that's my, that's my uh, impatience. So the switch on the back, I guess, controls the wind-up message. Uh, <laughs> wind up mechanism and the slide switch controls the lights and the back of the toy says the, the the side panel of the box says the toys exclusively imported to the united states by flare import company flare imported quite a bit of toys that's kind of a uh, interesting that they devoted this entire uh side panel or end panel just to tell you that it was a flare import and it's pretty much the same. And and on this end panel, though, it sh this is kind of how I figured out. And by the way, look at this logo here. Registered a trademark mark by RVT Japan. VIA. Isn't that kind of cool? So you don't see these kind of uh, little subtleties in a lot of other videos online. Even though I ramble, I show you the stuff no one's going to show you. So it takes one C-cell battery, which I did load in here and the way it works is you have to move the spring forward and then the lid just automatically pops up i'll show you because I, I was like how the hell does that lid come up and then i figured it out once i saw the box which i always make fun of putting the uh, instructions on the box but there you go it was actually helpful so there's how your battery goes in. and then you gotta just press it down pull the spring back up and uh the lights are super super dim and I'm not going to really leave them on. I don't know if these are the original bulbs. They seem to be. And only one was working. So you see that there? You got the yellow one working there. And I get nothing out of the red. But they just unscrew. Let's see if we can get one more. No, I get the yellow. Usually I dim the lights, but this isn't something I'm going to keep on. So very... Minimal action kind of reminds me of some of the cars, you know, that like the early cars had a battery function just for the lights in the 50s, and then the rest what might have been uh, friction operated. So, 
As for the toy, he's just gray, and you can see the key actually has Japan stamped on the side of the key. Some nice rivet details there. There's your switch that should be the on-off for the wind-up. He's got this retractable antenna here, very like a zoomer. Again, a hybrid, you know, wind-up and and battery power. You know, the, the uh, lights, his hands look a little nubby to me, you know, like stubs almost. I don't know if that was the greatest choice. Um, to me, well, I guess because they put the battery in the head, you didn't have any room for lights for the eyes. But I wish they would have figured out a different location to put lights. Maybe the chest area here. Usually this was stamped open. Man, these are some big rivets on here. It looks like it's the same as other uh, trim pieces that they have on other robots, but the rivets themselves look huge compared to other rivets. You can see the wheels here. So enough of my rambling. Let's wind him up off camera. And let's see if he go, go, goes. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, he looks like he's going to topple over at any minute, huh? Now, the thing is, he's got a lot of juice in there. I can't really overwind him. You know, listen, all I can say is when we're close to 70 years old, we hope that we'll walk as good as the Alps mechanical brain. Let me unwind them a little bit. I'll try to give them a couple more. He doesn't really have a lot of turns here. <laughs> I find it kind of humorous. Come on, buddy. Maybe a little, uh, a little oil would uh, would loosen him up. I'm trying to see why he leans so much. He's in like excellent condition. I guess that's just by design. Yeah, that's just the way he's designed. He's, you know, he's not going to be a perfect walker. But you know what? He doesn't topple over, which. Compared to some of the 60s, uh, you know, astronauts and things like that, the battery, the big dia, some of those things will fall right over. So at least he uh, he doesn't tumble. So anyway, that's your Mr. Robot mechanical brain. Hybrid battery slash wind up slash, uh, <laughs> I don't know, tipsy, tipsy drunk walker. Yeah, that's what he, we'll call him a drunk walk. No, he's not drunk. He's uh, just more of a, a steady, slow and steady wins the race, right? Anyway, if you like Mr. Robot, the Mechanical Brain by Alps, thumb up the video and share it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. I appreciate your time as always. Thanks for watching. And uh, with that, my friends, I will talk to you later.